kind of stay focused and then all of a sudden now I have to know some new uh, right. teammates and uh, obviously with the upcoming draft and some more. Yeah, I learned a lot from my first year. I'd say just changes were going to happen. I remember just being in there in the locker room one day, and then you're sitting next to another guy. So changes are, you know, bound to happen. That's what the uh, front front office has to do, you know, what's in the best interest of our team. But for me, it's just making sure all the guys are, you know, that we still got the same goal, making sure we're all on one page and making sure we're all close. So changes are something that's going to happen, but used to it by this point. Just got to roll with the punches. Yeah. You know, you're kind of expecting that and growing that relationship. And you right. know, now he's back in Seattle. So um, what was your communication like with him during that time? And for you, what do you take from him and translate it into now your leadership role will be expanding? Yeah, we talked a good little bit before the uh, deal happened. But, man, for the most part, I'm just excited and happy for him. I know he wanted to be back around his kids. And, I mean, Bobby taught me so much, and I, I love Bobby to death. So just making sure and make seeing him happy is the best thing for me, honestly. But from Bobby, um, man, I, I learned everything. Uh, I think for me the main thing was just how I go about my day, having a set routine, set schedule, um, and just knowing w what it takes, you know, he's going to be a Hall of Famer one, one day as soon as he puts down his cleats. So I want to be that, and I know that just watching him and just everything that he's taught me about how to go about this game is has been big for me. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, what's going to happen this year. What, what is your kind of leadership style? You know, I mean, are you yeah. just be yourself, or do you feel like you have to <laughs> – kind of elevate your personality in some way because guys will be looking to you now? No, I'll be myself, and that that's enough for me. That's always been enough. Um, I just got that energy. I'm going to fly around and get to the ball, and when I make a play or when guys make plays, I'm going to be right there with them, celebrating them, making sure they know that, you know, their job is not – not not seen by anybody, but it's seen by me for sure. So I'll be I'll be loud, energetic. Just I'll just I'll be a ball of energy in my in my eyes. So I'm excited to finally get it, let it loose this year, and go. It, it's go time. What was Sean's message to you guys at the start of this offseason? Um, for the main part, let's get back to what we to the basics. Let's get back to you know just being physically and mentally strong. Um, right now we're in this this day one of the OTA uh, process, so let's just get our bodies together. Let's be able to run longer than other teams. Let's just be able to fight harder than the other teams. And you no, know, we already got the doubts, so let's go out there and just prove people wrong. Are you embracing all the expectations that's going to be thrust on your shoulders? Yeah. No, I love it. I'm ready. I, I've been ready to go. Um, I say I've been ready to go, but just seeing what Bobby's done and how he goes about his business, I truly know now what it takes, and I'm, I'm ready to go for sure. Um, you alluded to some of the um, the questions surrounding like, yeah. this team in general, and based on a lot of the departures, probably the defense as right. well. Um, yeah. When you look at this group on paper, what should people know about it that maybe we don't see looking at it? No, nah, it's a bunch of dogs. Like that's that's one thing I, I'll, I'll say is this group. You know, losing Jalen was big. Losing Bobby's big. But at the same time, you know, we got to kind of move on and go forward. And one thing I know about this group is they're, we're hungry. We got a lot of young guys that need to make names for themselves, that need to provide for their families. So at the same time, I know once we get rolling and once we get going, we're going to be we're gonna be something to deal with for sure. We're going to be getting to the ball. And all 11 hats to the ball is what I'm preaching and making sure that we do. You have somebody like uh, Raheem part of the continuity and building the consistency. How does that help you as a player as well as the rest of the defense? Now that gives us the confidence knowing that um, Raheem's going to do his best to put us in the in the position to, to make plays and do his best for the defense. Um, for us, it's just all about executing now and making sure that when we go out there, like I said, I want to I run to the ball harder and better than any other teams in this league. I want to make sure that when people do play us, regardless of the outcome of the game, they know that we – we, we were there. We were coming with everything we had. So I feel like that's what's just going to happen with this young group. Everybody's got a, got a hunger and look in their eyes. So I'm excited. Sky's the limit for us, honestly. Chris, you mentioned having a set routine, a set schedule is one of the biggest takeaways from working with Bobby. What right. was the biggest adjustment to your routine or schedule from that experience? Um, I'd say the biggest thing was, man, I – I, to be honest, did I have much of a routine? Was I just going through the motions and going through the flows? And that kind of, it, it, it worked to some extent, but I'm, I know for me I'm much better than how I've played and how I've, how I've went about my day. So for me it's 
eating, making sure I'm eating, making sure my body's looking great, making sure I'm doing everything that I can to put myself in the best position to be ready to be available when the time comes. And I feel like that times now I'm 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 ready to go. Like I'm excited. I'm ready to do this thing for sure. Really young guys to crack right. starting experience at some of those premium positions. Um, are you kind of watching people right now and seeing how maybe the younger guys do rise to the occasion? What's your impression of, of that maybe opportunity instead of a challenge? Yeah, no, for me, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch young guys like DK and Dakobe Duran and you know, Marquise Copeland, even though they're not, he's not young, he's, he gets that opportunity now to ball out. So I feel like at this point now, it's like I promise, it's 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 the sky's the limit. Like man, these guys, they they're dogs, man. They come to work each and every day, and they've been waiting for this opportunity as well. So for us, it's just about each day attacking it. Every day is a new day, and making sure we're building. Like defensively, I feel like we just got to build and just be be as strong as possible. Come whenever that that first game is, and be ready to go. Do you still feel like? <laughs> I mean, you are, but do you feel like a young guy? Because after the draft, that locker room is <laughs> right. full of, you know, younger players. I, I'm definitely still young, but I feel like the older guy in a sense, especially now in my room, I probably play linebacker more than, than any other other guys. So, and I've played a lot of football here. So I definitely feel like I'm one of the older guys now. I definitely feel like it's my time to lead and my time to, you know, step up and, and do what's right for this team and, and be that voice for us. So I'm, I'm excited for sure. Oh, it's everything, whatever, whatever. I, I got so many, but I, I, for the most part, for me, it's team. It's team oriented. I want to just make sure, man, that when I'm leading this defense and that I am the voice of this defense and making sure that that I give them everything that I got because I know they're going to do the same for me. And once they see that I am truly committed to this, then it'll be it, it's going to be rolling for sure. All set. Cool. Thank y'all.
<clears throat> what was the process for you like this off season? Um, the, the conversations about um, coming back in, and, and then what was sort of your reaction to being retained by the team and signing that deal? Um, I use I, I going into this off season. I really just went about it like the same as last off season. Just worked out every day. Really tried not to think about outside of football stuff too much. And then when it came, it was like a, all right, cool. Now let's keep going. Was there anything specific that you felt like you had to maybe improve or upgrade coming in? So, you know, new season, obviously the new challenges that come along with it as well. Uh, yeah, every every year is a, you want to get better every year. You want to just be the, the best version of yourself every year. So it's always in football going to be something you, you need to work on. Uh, nutrition, no, I, I try to keep a, a, a stricter diet already, but um, no, I don't, I didn't change anything diet wise. Given all the opportunities you got late last season, the fact that you're now able to come back and build off of it, it just wasn't me to have that opportunity. Uh, it's just great to be here. It's great to be around the guys again. Great to re be around my coach again. Great. It's just great to be here, yeah. Role change a little bit. I mean, because with Greg gone and you know, Deshaun situation, you and Aaron, yeah. you know, are <laughs> the vets. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely different. I was actually just thinking about that the other day. Coming in as an undrafted free agent, I was in the back of the line. Now I'm one of the ones in the front of the line, and it's really just, it's really just doing what the guys taught us before. You know, just just keep leading on and keep keep going for the younger guys, and and then. They'll be in the front of the line eventually, too. So, yeah. You, you've done a little bit of everything in terms of, like, schematically and what your role actually has been um, yeah. on the interior. Mm -hmm. um, are, are you thinking that you're going to be um, in a certain position full time at this point? You, you've sort of gone where they've asked you to go before. Yeah, um, really just game plan honestly so if if they need me here or there I, i'll play it and that's one of my biggest parts of my game i would say just being versatile you know so i can play anything and i don't i don't think i really want to stop playing multiple positions just just to be versatile and with aaron um i mean obviously you're very familiar with his game at this yeah. point but yeah. um, understanding how crucial that the the setup guy role is for him uh -huh. um, what does that mean to you and have you sort of envisioned what that might look like for yourself? Uh, just with just playing with AD is just like, honestly, it's just playing football. He'll he'll take care of most of what he needs to take care of by himself. But it's it's good to help him out there and and, and be nice to him and hear how he play, see how he plays the game and hear hear the things that he thinks. So, yeah, it it's cool to to be that next guy, that setup guy from. But still, though, he he plays his game. He wants you to play your game just as well. Mm -hmm. Anything in particular, I'm sure there's a lot, but anything in particular that you learned from him that you've been able to apply to your game? Um, I would just say staying consistent, going going every day, coming in every day and just staying consistent. Practice is the biggest place where we where we get better. So coming in every day, in and out the building, just, just being yourself and, and, and working on your craft is the biggest thing I, I would say. This year is just it's just about being a team and coming together. Really, just like you said, we have a, not, a lot of new faces. So we're right now we're just mixing together. Where it's the first day back, but we feel like I feel like it's we've been back. We just put pause. We just hit pause and we resume today. So just just getting comfortable and staying comfortable with, with each other and picking up and playing football. Um, Ernest Jones was just in here um, and he, he seems to be a pretty like fired up guy. Yeah. Generally speaking. Yeah. Um, he, he wants to be a, a voice for this defense, he said. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you see in him that makes you believe that? Uh, Ernest, like me and Ernest, I think we worked out almost every day together. So I, like I see him putting the work, he sees me putting the work, and it's, it's just I believe him. He every time <clears throat> you don't think you're gonna do something or something just from a younger guy, he's always there already, just just trying to come on, come on, you, I need you, let's go, let's go. So he is, he, he's super, he's super energized and enthusiastic. How would you describe his, his personality, whether it's 
playing alongside him on the field in the meeting rooms, those kinds of things? Ernest, uh, Ernest, I, I remember I'm, I made a play one time, and we joke about this all the time. <clears throat> I made a play in uh, what game was that? The Chargers game, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And he pushed me super hard, but we were just joking. And he, and he was just like, "Yeah," he was fired up. I was like, "Yo, who is that?" He just he was super fired up though. That that's just earned. But he, he gets like that, and it's just it is great to play with him. He brings your energy up if you play with him. If you make a play, if you do anything like that. Mm -hmm. All set. Thank you. All right. Have a good day.
What's going on? When you went into last season and thought about maybe this, this year, is there anything, any goals you set for yourself or anything you wanted to prioritize? Uh, just building on the success that we had, not just me, we had as a team. Uh, especially in the run game, uh, just build on that, uh, learn from it, and uh, try to try to take it into this season, uh, go into this season better than than we were last year, in all aspects. So, with, with all that happened last season, yeah, with you and just the kind of the journey you went through last season, yeah. Um, did you expect to be here for the first day of off season workouts still with the Rams? Uh, based on how everything played out, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have no no different expectations of where I was gonna be. I knew I would be here uh, today. Um, who knows what the future hold? But I'm where my feet are. You know, it's like it's good to be uh, where your feet are, and um, that's 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 where we at today. How do you? I mean, how did you process kind of what happened? And are you? Is it all behind you? Yeah, nope. all behind me. You know, uh, can't harp on the past or. or Things that have happened um, in the past. It's a business, you know. Um, I treat it as such. Um, you live and you learn. Um, when you're not learning, that's when it's a problem. I'm learning, so um, we're just gonna gonna take the bullets and keep rolling. Are you? Are you? One more. Sorry. Are Are you confident that um, given how you finished the season and the, and the team was running the ball at the end of the year, are, are yeah. you Are you confident that um, this season? Early on, there will be uh, an opportunity to kind of get that run game going by giving it to you consistently. Absolutely, I'm confident that it will be based off you know um, how we finish the season. Um, not me, just just the offensive line, the whole you know the whole process. So um, I'm confident that it will be. Just uh, just got to be patient, make sure I do my part, and uh, try to try to continue to be a leader. Um. Matthews talked uh, a little bit about how frustrated he got just being hurt and then not being able to do all the things he yeah. wanted to do. And um, yeah. today when he came in, he seemed uh, refreshed, relaxed. Um, what it, he said he'd run into you a lot working out this off season. Yeah. Um, can you share a little bit about what he's been like to you? Uh, just just an example, you know, uh, of a of a person who can. Who can who can go through adversity and still be able to come in and, and, and be a be a leader, do it every day, do it the right way, you know. Um, so just an example, um, not not necessarily verbally, but an example on how to do it, how to be a pro, you know, how to um, how to approach this thing. So um, just just being able to watch him from afar and close, um, um, and, and learn from him is, is is always a help, you know, to a young guy like me. To sort of be physically separate, just being injured, like being not as in depth in some of the stuff that he would normally be in last year. Yeah. Um, to have him sort of take steps to, uh, so it seems, reconnect and making sure he's connecting with with players. Yeah. Um, what does that mean for not just the younger guys, but yourself, who's now I think considered to be more of a veteran? Okay. Um, just mean um. He want to get to know, you know, maybe the people he don't already know, you know, um, the newer guys who we, who we have in, the younger guys that we have in, uh, just trying to make sure he knows us, you know, he is the QB, he is the, the leader of the team, so um, why wouldn't he want to know the guys who he'll be throwing the ball to or handing the ball off to, you know, um, so uh, just just making sure he knows us, you know, like the back of his hand, and we know him. And so. what, what is the best thing that you learned about yourself thus far, and how does that help you get in? In preparation for next season or this coming season, I should say. Uh, I learned that, that I'm, a, I'm a resilient man. Uh, even when times get tough, or I don't know, it get cloudy. I don't know what the end result is. I know to keep working and keep doing whatever I'm doing to put myself in the best position. So uh, that's probably the biggest lesson that I learned to that I'm resilient to remain resilient, remain, um, remain uh, God fearing, and, and just keep working. You know, um, stuff I already knew, but definitely this year. Kind of, kind of brought, kind of came to the forefront. When you hear about, there's a story right now, um, Ralph Yarl, who was uh, gunned down in Kansas City for ringing the doorbell at the wrong residence, unfortunately. Yeah. When you hear about that, what goes through your mind, and <coughs> you know, what are you thinking about when you hear constantly keep hearing stories about young black kids getting gunned down uh, innocently? Uh, it put a bad taste in my mouth. You know, um, I'm a young black man. Uh, I got a little brother. I got little cousins. Um, got friends there. You know, so um, 
just 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 being a part of that that uh that group of of young black people it, it kind of hit different when you see it happen to you know to somebody like that uh no explanation kind of kind of shouldn't happen so uh, it's just sad to see it happen that way um hopefully some change can come about soon you know um and, and hopefully people like me and um in the league can can be a voice you know uh to 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 let people bring awareness if if nothing else to to let people know it's not right you know so Mark Kim, uh, when Jalen was here, he kind of talked about taking you under his wing. Yeah, that's big, bro. Close to you. So what's um, what's it going to be like not having him around? And have you had any conversation with him? Did he give you any kind of advice about going forward? Yeah, yeah, plenty of conversations. Uh, probably won't won't disclose them, but uh, yeah, we had plenty of conversations. Uh, still talk to this day. So uh, that's big, bro. Um, obviously, it'll be different without him around his presence. Uh, he is who he is, but um, when you have him around for three years, two years, uh, all you can do is learn, learn from him, try to try to pick up on some of the things that he does and implement it into how you do, what you do, or, or how you lead, or you know, go about your day. So, uh, just just learning from him, continuing to learn from him. Um, <clears throat> I got his number if I need to ask him a question, so I can call him. Uh, he's still there for me, so. Uh, uh, just having him, having him as a big brother, having him as a mentor, uh, somebody who can who can point me in the right direction. Always, that's that's good for me. What are your impressions of Coach Cool so far, and what's it gonna be like not having Thomas around? Great, Coach G. That's a great guy. Uh, very detail oriented. So just like Coach TB, a uh, um, little older, but um, definitely got the same uh, end goal. You know, same end goal as everybody, and he wants us to be um, football. Like technicians, he wants us to know it like the back of our hand, and you know he, that's his emphasis. That's what he's emphasized to us, you know, since since we well to me since I've met him. Um, so um, that's a part of the game that I don't have like the, I don't have down pack yet, and um, he going he, I can tell he's gonna help me get there. Kim, you were around the facility a lot even before the off season program got started today. Yeah, um, it's more time. Or- or anything or any significant difference compared to you know, the amount of time you usually spend around here in the offseason before the program starts. But what, if, if anything, you know, went into that decision and what kind of influenced your approach before today got started? Uh, Just making sure I do my part. You know, um, obviously it's my fourth year, uh, contract year, big year for me. Uh, so personally, so just, just making sure I do whatever I need to do to be at my best, you know, for this team and for myself. <clears throat> so uh, that's why you've been seeing me here. Uh, you're going to continue to see me here. Um, it's just what it is. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Last one. I know you're um, wanting to make sure that your messaging is team first, team first. But um, being a lead running back, mm-hmm. um, what do you know about what that means now versus when you first came into this system? And do you feel you can be that person and player, and, and why do you think that? Yeah, I think I've shown. You know, me saying I can be it, don't you know? It really don't mean a lot. I think I've shown I can be that. Um, but um, that's the question again. Um, what does being a lead running back mean to you as a person and player? What do you know about it now that you maybe didn't know coming in? Uh, it means you got to come in every day. You know, uh, not really not say it. You got to come in and do it every day. Um, whether that's be a leader. Whether that's go through the training room, whether that's lift the weights or run, meet, uh, whatever it may be, you got to come in every day the same way. Uh, Cooper Cup is a good example. Uh, we had Bobby Wagner. People, we had people. I had, I've had great examples to look at and learn from, and I have. So uh, just, just you know, I'm coming in and doing it every day, being consistent. Uh, man, it all add up. It all add up. All set. Cool. Thanks, Cam. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Tom. Oh.